Hello, and welcome back to a new exciting episode of Baldur's Gate Dark... Or what is it? Dark Alliance 2. Yeah, Dark Alliance. So... Uh, it's a long name for a game, but... Uh, um, yeah, I'm playing as the Necromancer right now. Uh, Dribble is playing as the Barbarian. Yeah, so we just got back after... Uh, so for some reason our save file disappeared. So I might have saved to... over it by accident. I'm really, I'm not really sure. Yeah. But yeah, so we just had to play like the uh, pretty much the second episode over again. Yeah, we had to do the the village and then the sewers over. Yeah. Um. So yeah. now we have a uh, an option to go to. So we have to go to the tavern. Oh, we we but... first had to pick up the quest for uh, yeah. like going to. The warehouse or the manor? The manor. Bullshit. It's really long, and uh, I mean, it's not it's too difficult, sucked. but it's just it's just really long. I don't know. I don't mind it too much. It's like so easy to get lost, and it's just so long. What do you mean? You have a mini map for a reason. You just follow the mini map. It's butt dump garbage. <sighs> so is my hospitality, but yeah. you know, you know how that goes. But look into the kidnapping. Kidnappings, like you select the option for uh, going into the warehouse. Yep. Oh, also, uh, we did a few. You should stop moving your leg when it's on the table, oh, and the why? mic is connected to the oh. table. Oh, um, no, it's a nervous habit. You realize that? Yeah. Know. You know, if you're shaking your leg, it takes more like brain processing to actually yeah. stop yourself from shaking your leg. I know. You know that, but I'm just letting you know that so, I know that too. To make things a little be, bit easier and less time consuming, I changed the date on the Xbox to uh, 2076. We're in the future! <laughs> so it's. Yeah. It's, Our Xbox is actually a time traveling machine. Yeah. Went into the future, 2076, where we're making our fourth Reich. We're resurrecting Hitler. He's going to be my main general for my army. And we're going to take over the world. I also uh, upped the brightness on the capture, so hopefully it'll be easier to see things. And I downed the dumbness on myself, so, uh, you know. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm intelligible hey, now. You're not supposed to be here. I don't understand what these guys are supposed to be. Are they like monks or something? Like they're, uh, they're, yeah. they're dressed like monks or some kind of like worshippers of some kind. And like the rest of the people in this uh, warehouse are just like. Ninjas, basically. Yeah. As you guys will see in a little bit. Once we break some uh, boxes and barrels. Mm hmm. And then save the game. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. So now we don't have to scroll down and take. Wait. Like Wait. 30 years. There's some new over in here. Wait. No, he's not here yet. Last time until the in the game. Yeah. Spoilers, Turbo. Well, I don't know who it is. They know that someone's gonna be there though. Yeah, this game likes to reuse a lot of the uh Location. mm -hmm. locations. Locations. Oh, it's not like most other um uh like Diablo? Uh or Path of Exile. I'm not really sure if uh, uh wait. I think we go. Down here this is way like first. this is a dead end. Yeah, it's just the square. I think Path of Path of Exile uh re redoes like all the uh like the three different acts is like just replaying the same thing over yeah. three different times. I think that Diablo is different, but if you like go to different modes, you have to like okay. play th everything through again. Yeah, which this game is like first. exactly like that. Wait, I figure out how to like break these barrels. <laughs> it's really dumb because you can't actually break the barrels with your ranged weapons. Yeah, it's really lame. Mm -hmm. So much micromanagement for me, having to switch from my ranged weapon to the melee weapon. I am too lazy to do that, so I will yeah. instead just have you break all the everything. So we need to go up this way and doggy, doggy, doggy. kill these guys. <laughs> Slaughter some pooches. So we can get a crowbar. There we go. What's the crowbar for? We're opening that door. Is that your new weapon? It should be. Oh, you just went South Korean yeah. on that dog. <laughs> just um, played it and uh, ate it. Like the true I, barbarian you are. I, I just thought you said flated at first. Flated? Yeah. We're we talking about fellatio. That's an entirely different thing than filleting. 
The laying fellatio, it's all the same. Yeah. If you don't think about it. It's all the same if you don't think about it. Yeah. Which I never Everything think, so, is. you know, it, it all works out in the end. Yeah. Let's see here. Um. Oh, I swear just going yeah. through this freaking just warehouse, like, ass. slaughtering, uh, slaughtering all these Buddhist monks, I guess. I think to the left is uh, where we need to go first. Yeah, there yeah. are a lot of long corridors. Alright, ninjas! Our first encounter with ninjas. Well, Ooh. no, our first encounter with ninjas was earlier with the dogies. Oh, alright. Well, it's all the same. You pick yeah. It up? yeah, it did. Alright, good. Okay, I love how there's just, like two ninjas waiting behind a couple of boxes with shurikens. Yeah. Sure you can. Shout out again! I like how you grabbed both the, uh... Yeah, both like, the mana potions. Uh, like, probably almost 30 of them there. You fool. Oh, I don't need mana potions anymore, because, um... Next level, I'm gonna be getting, uh... This thing that regenerates my mana by, like, 125%. Yeah, and well. increases by, like, 25% every, uh, point afterwards. So that's really yeah. good. You know, so I can spam all of my spells. Yeah. Really. Well, it's just like a a twenty five percent increase every time. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, that that is pretty amazing compared to like you know Dungeons and Dragons, like the uh, game that we were playing for. Yeah. You had to spend a lot of points in order to get like a very minuscule amount um, of like mana regeneration. And mana barely regenerated regenerated in that game though. Yeah. That's the thing. That's like you know you basically relied on your mana potions for mana. Yeah. Like, it would just take forever if you just wanted to, like, you know, wait between each battle and, like, wait for mana to regenerate. Whereas in this game, it's like, you know, it regenerates pretty darn fast. So, yeah. you can always have, like, a surplus of mana. Which is really nice. Like, you don't really have to worry about mana for mana casting and stuff. Uh, it's good. Yeah. And, like, well, in defense of the Dungeons & Dragons game, in Dungeons and Dragons, you don't really get to uh, cast spells like very often after you've cast them, because like you get so many spells per day and stuff like. No, that. I was talking about the uh, the multiplayer game. The yeah, one I know. Playing before. Wait, but what? it's like. Uh, oh, our, our game is freezing right now, so we can talk. Yeah, yeah. it does that when we say. <laughs> It's a little bit glitchy. We're gonna be waiting here for like 10 or 15 seconds. Yeah. But wait, you can only have like so many spells per day? Yeah, in actual dungeons. Oh, yeah, 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 no, but so I, I was talking about like. Yeah, that's probably why uh, the like mana regen uh, is so slow. Oh, yeah, but game. I'm pretty sure that the, like the melee users and like ranged users both like just. pretty much took crap on the damage that, uh, you know. Yeah. The uh, magic users dealt. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't actually played that game yeah. like, very much. Because it's right. kind of boring. Mm -hmm. You know, I tried to play Gauntlet. Uh, you know, I played this game first and I played, tried playing Gauntlet. It was like the uh, PC version that was on Steam for like 20 bucks. Yeah. I was like, hey, it's a dungeon crawler. I love dungeon crawlers. I don't know. If well, we then can... I realized that, you know, Gauntlet was kind of crappy because you can only like block and attack, that's all oh, yeah, you can I think... do. We have one, one area back here if you want to do it, or we can just continue. Did we miss anything? Yeah, we missed one area. Oh, okay. Um, but it's like Gauntlet. Gauntlet, Gauntlet, Gauntlet. It's... Yeah. I mean, it's it's like the dungeon, like basically the definition of like a dungeon crawler game. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody's heard about it, it was like the original dungeon crawler game that first came out, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah. Don't really quote me on that, but well, I uh, mean... it was like, I tried it, and then I thought I was like, holy crap, this game is really boring. The There's no is, abilities at all. Uh, you know, I it's just like attacking I think attacking we've walking. explored everything. We? Oh. Yeah. Okay, alright. Um, the thing about Gauntlet is it doesn't have the RPG elements that uh, a lot of dungeon crawlers have. Yeah. It's basically just like button mashing. Yeah. Uh, it, it's really, like, really there's linear. There's no like, leveling up or getting new weapons mm -hmm. and stuff like that. 
which I love about dungeon crawlers. That's like you know the yeah. the reward system is amazing for these kinds of games. You know, I, I was playing like Dungeons and Dragons like tabletop before, and it's like you know the reason. Well, one of the major reasons why I love that game is because you know it's like leveling up. It felt so great. You know, you get yeah. like all new abilities, like more health, more mana, or you know, not in Dungeons and Dragons you don't get mana, but um, yeah, like more, more spells. spells. Um, yeah. Feats and it was and like stuff. you know it was honestly like you know a really great experience you know you felt really rewarded for it it's like you carry over to this game also and also yeah. uh, the dungeons and dragons game they played together on the xbox you know i really like it. I, I really like that yeah it's, just a sense of like you know it rewards me for that you're doing yeah and, and like it's also that. like you know i've heard that games do that on purpose for like incentive to play the game more yeah but i mean i'll, I'll definitely buy into it for this game i mean any day yeah. i've already played this game through like uh what two or three times mm -hmm. you know and I, I just like always recommend it to like anybody that plays it or like you know wants to play a dungeon crawler or anything like that it's like you know Baldur's gate is probably the best dungeon crawler there is yeah. Hands down, pants down, everything down. Uh, <laughs> pants down. <laughs> yeah. Um, but honestly, it's just like... Dang. I, I can't speak highly enough of this game. Yeah, I think... It's just so amazing. I feel like this entire series is just us jerking off to it. Yeah, it's gonna be just one supreme jerk circle jerk. Yeah. Or jerky circle, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. It's a... Uh... Uh, no, I, I mean, if we just like keep on playing or talking up the game, it'll make it seem better in the video. So. I actually think we have to go up first. Which way's up? Uh, you mean north, like I mean. to the first level, or like? Uh, no, just this way. So we have to transcend to heaven. Yeah. Oh crap! I died. Really fast. Dribble to die. Don't die, don't die, don't die! Oh, we're gonna have our first death! Or er, first know. group wipe. Oh, never mind. Alright, that, that was pretty exciting there. That was a lot of damage. Tell me about that. You were supposed to be tanking! Uh, I was. That's the first time I ever died this series. Gerbil! You were not doing your job. Yeah. You were not doing your job. You should have taunted them I'm all really and uh, healed me at the same time. I wanted to catch up to that fireball. You're not fast enough. Yeah. Can you catch up to this fireball? Like so. Whoa, that went through the wall. Yeah, I meant to do that. Ouch. Fireball. How many health potions do you have, by the way? Six. Uh, and thirty-seven. You're, you're good. Potions. You're good. You don't need any of this. You Just need the drop, like, to get that alchemical lore. Oh, if that can convert like uh, potions into the yeah, opposite so potion. Yeah, so I can drop like twenty of my rejuvenation potions, and you can just make them all. Yeah, especially since potions. like I'll have that mana reju rejuvenation thing, which will be like you know, I, I don't I don't need mana potions anymore. I'll just like convert them all over to uh, health potions and just give them to you because you're gonna be dying a lot. At least that's the plan. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually, like, get any weapons or anything like that, or enchantments. I just get my spells. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I might later I mean, in the game, like, try to enchant my crossbow, but... Well, you'll be like, enchanting, like, rings and stuff. Yeah, but they, they don't really ma matter as much as, like, stats for you, you know? Yeah. So, like, and it's like, the can... main priority for the barbarian is just, like, get a really overpowered, like, enchanted weapon for the main hand and then just go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Uh, okay, we have to pause. Jojo! So you're just gonna edit this out, right? Sure. Alright. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Sure, well, you have to uh, monologue for everything. Too bad. I refuse to do that. Even though that is actually what I'm currently doing now. So, yeah. You're doing a great job on this in Jojo, by the way. Okay. I know the audience was really, really stoked up about Jojo coming over and uh, entertaining you guys, but I'm sorry. It's just us. You know, I've had, I, I haven't had any coffee today. I had coffee this morning. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're back. 
Yeah. We are back, aren't we? Yeah. No coffee today, I'm feeling... But I'm feeling also like, pretty good. I'm yeah, not... I'm feeling pretty good also. Which is weird, because I, like, barely got any sleep last night. But I only got, like, six hours. Like, uh, my brother came and called me at a 9 o'clock class in the morning, and I stay up until, like, 2 in the morning. Um... And he called me at like 8.20 in a class at like 9 o'clock and he t asked me, Hey, do you want to play some games? I'm chopping by your place in like 5 minutes. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So let me put on yeah. some pants first. And then we just played this game called Death Row. Which we'll have to play on the show. Oh, eventually. that game is so much fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah we, we played it for like 5 minutes and uh, he just left and I left for class. But, I mean, it, it was pretty chill. It's like the first time he dropped by my apartment. Yeah. Just like, you know, rambling. It's awesome. improving because, you know, he's living with his wife right now. And they're kind of in their honey honeymoon stage still. Yeah. Uh, I won't say more, any more than that because uh, this is going online and he'll probably watch it. No. And it's very well, incriminating. They will definitely watch it. Now they will have to. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, apparently, apparently he watched uh, the, the first two episodes with. Uh, with Alan, his wife. Yeah. Um, I forget which, or if we should continue going this way or go. Yeah, I, I don't remember exactly. Back. Oh no, I think that back was uh to that golden room of like a bunch of uh chairs or it's like basically a church. Pierce. Probably. Pierce um, I I don't think we go that I way. I don't remember. We'll yeah. probably have to come or go back there. Eventually. Don't worry, Gerbil's the master of editing, so if we need to do any kind of a uh, time, time travel. space, time space yeah. rewind, we, then we can just uh, go back to the original spot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because the other uh, prisoners are back there. So we uh, get the key from here and then bring it back to there. I like how my spell is like a ranged spell, but it works... E most effectively if, it, if uh, you're in touch spell range. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like basically the Necromancer doesn't have any range spells at all. Yeah. Effectively. Um, should we go back? It's like this This game doesn't really have like any, um... Yeah, we can probably go back. Mm. Once you get the spin cycle. These guys do a lot of damage. Not enough. That is true. Actually, wait. Oh, this is the golden mm. room. Oh, crap. Well, yeah, this was the golden room I was talking about, so we yeah. have to go back there. Damn it! So, uh, it's another, like, jail place, I believe, mm -hmm. back there. The jails of prisoners. I How? don't remember exactly So, that. what was the story behind this warehouse? It's just, like, people getting smuggled into here or something? Or um... Just... Getting abducted uh, from their houses. This is like a thieves guild, I guess. The Hands of Glory. Oh, cool! We should join them! Yeah, and they're kidnapping people. Yeah, I can do that great, like... I'm a necromancer, and I can just, like, make my own skeletal zombie and have him abduct people from their homes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I'll get off real easily. You know what I mean. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So. Yeah, we had to, like, go come back here anyway, because, like, we got the keys. Uh, oh, wait, what? Uh, Never mind. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Alright, I guess we'd have to, like, come back here, but whatever. Yeah, but we have to... Or we want to, yeah, get all the hostages. Oh, that's, like, a different quest that we just got, like, from... Yeah, it's like an uh, extra quest, basically. I understand. Alright, let me go uh, a little first here. <laughs> um... How much does Alchemical oh, War cost? One? Oh, okay, two. That's... That's too that's much! really cheap. That's way too much. Let's get that. I guess I'll, uh... You could get... I could get armor the, first, see? Yeah, um, just to get... The, Some kind of defense. Like, padded or uh, stuff. Mm hmm. 
I could also get... I don't, I don't really need that. I can get Vampire Touch. That is a crap ton of damage. Yeah. Although it's not really needed. Um. What else is there? Iron Will there... is good. What's that? That one. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was gonna get that. All right, sweet. Whoops. That's insane. Like five times twenty-five percent. What is that? Yeah. I can't do math. Um, that's an additional one hundred twenty-five percent mana regeneration. Yeah. That is really really good. For like a D twenty kind of like system game. That's yeah. insane. But unfortunately, the uh, Necromancer spells aren't that good. <laughs> Well, they're better than, like, the cleric spells. Well, the cleric also has, like, a, uh... Healing spells. Yeah, and healing like and, that. like, the maze damage and stuff like that. Yeah. The cleric actually gets, like, better in the late game than they do in, like, the early game. Uh... I'm not really sure from what... I don't know, I, I was just, like, reading a guide on it earlier, and it's like, the guy was like, Yeah, cleric is not that great early game. But I they get a lot better at late game. It's like, oh, okay, disagree. whatever. Disagree. <laughs> Why do you disagree? Because, like... You just take flame strike early, and you just one shot everything. Oh yeah, but then it's like, does the cleric get better after that? I don't know. And like your heal kind of falls off later because it just doesn't heal as much. I mean, like you do. Yeah, get... but you, you have a shield though, right? I mean, that's yeah. The shields in this game, like enchanting them, they do so much, like so much defense. Yeah. You know. And like uh, getting. Uh... I forget exactly what enchantments they are, but... Dodge. Mm -hmm. So it gives you, like, an extra 1 AC per, uh, armor piece. Mm -hmm. So it can give you, like, 5, uh, Yeah, so it doesn't AC. even matter that your flame strike does not deal it you know, that much damage, or if your heal does heal you from it that much. It's like, yeah. you know, you're able to, like, just tank through any amount of damage because, you know, of, uh, the enchantments that you can put on your shield and everything. Yeah. And you get, uh... After a while, you get a bunch of, uh, like, attacks that you can do with your, uh, weapon. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah I can like... do a two-hit combo now. So ooh, that's ooh. a thing. There you go. I love how the club just comes out of the chest. That's exactly what it wants. Yeah. The, uh, the stick that's worth four gold. All right, guys. Have your icon and your banner finished. Hey, JoJo just got the uh, banner and everything finished for the channel. Cool. Which is amazing. Now we have to wait for another 10 15 seconds. It actually, it went by pretty There quickly. we go. I'll see. First one is. Um. Like 20 minutes. Oh, uh, we should. We should uh, fight the boss. Cause this oh, is yeah, there's, an, yeah. A, there's a boss. Is it really that short? A level? Or dungeon? Yeah. I thought there was more to this. No. Like, I thought the, the goblin layer was like under this and everything. No. Oh crap, alright. That's really short. Wow, the banner is really long. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. So this is the boss battle here. We have a uh, Dick Van Dyke diking everybody with his dick money. Yeah. Dribble, you're doing great. <laughs> yep. This, this boss battle is so much easier. There we go. With two people. Holy crap. Like, normally on single player, you just have to, have to like, uh, kite him yeah. around the room, and there's, like, exploding barrels that you can deal damage on, uh, to him. Like that one right there. He got bodied really hard. Yeah, he got bobbied. Yeah. And Bobby? Bobby. Bobby, that's propane in my urethra. But, um... Yeah, you, I just like spam my flame strike spell or whatever the hell that's called, uh, flame arrows. Yeah. And it's like, every time I sp uh, I hit it, it's like five multiplicative damage. Yeah. Too good. Too good. Remarkable ring. That's worth money! Yeah. That is worth the money. <laughs> yeah, that's all that's worth to me. I mean... Or I could roleplay as Gollum and say, Precious! Yeah. Let's bomb! Bomb us all! I'm not even sure what kind of voice Gollum does. I haven't watched The Roll of the Rings in such a long time. Yeah. Marathon We will have to marathon. The original trilogy, not the Alright, let's, let's say first before we go to the shop. 
Because uh, the people don't need to uh, watch yeah, that. I guess. Yeah, they don't need to watch that. We should marathon the original trilogy, not The Hobbit. That shit took too long, and it was like an hour worth of just walking over the three movies. Yeah, there's a bunch of relationship okay. stuff that I can get into, but I'll say that that's for later. That's because they turned, like, the one Hobbit book into three movies. Hey, that, that, no, that's like, yeah, they turned it, it was supposed to be two movies at first, but then they turned it to three movies, and then they added, like, a relationship for Hollywood effects, and it's like, that just added on another, like, one and a half hours to the series that they didn't even need, and it's like, holy crap, why would you do this? You're just ruin. I mean, they didn't really yeah, ruin it, they but it's like, done, honestly, they could have, like, it really like, long movie. Yeah. Anyway, anyway yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll see you guys later. Uh, yeah. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Joey, you you should um. That got pretty heated.